Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about some new information that has just come out on the Spinosaurus from JP3. Specifically, there's been some developments surrounding what happened to the dinosaur after the events of the third movie. So recently some backstory for the new Jurassic World miniature game that is indeed tied to Universal has come out talking about the dinosaur from Jurassic Park 3. In this release, Zia Rodriguez's conversation with Congresswoman Delgado, who we hear very briefly on screen in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, is brought up extensively in text. Now, some of this information has obviously been translated from French, so just keep that in mind in that it may look a little weird to an English reader. That being said, this is all official information that is being put forward by the company that's currently making the game. So, in the miniature game, they go on to say that after the San Diego incident, InGen actually went back to Isla Sorna in order to clone more animals illegally, which we know is absolutely true. This statement is followed up with a conversation on the Spinosaurus specifically, in which they mentioned that the animal whom was abandoned on Site B wound up attacking other large theropod dinosaurs and even managed to kill a T-Rex. The animal was also unfortunately cloned with a boosted level of growth hormones, which interestingly would have led to its death. Two U.S. Navy teams were sent into the island in order to rescue Alan Grant, and one of them came across this juvenile Spinosaur specimen, which apparently attacked them in an abandoned dam. Now, Zia goes on to explain that while they don't exactly know how the Spinosaurus died, they think that the hormonal treatment that it was given couldn't have been healthy and that the dinosaur more than likely succumbed to cancer, of all things. Which is actually something that cloned animals in our real world concerned scientists with during the famous original sheep engineering from the 1990s. Now, ironically, I was actually going to do a whole video going into the whole growth hormones aspect of Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous after season one, just before this information came out about the Spinosaurus. And that's because in one of the earlier drafts of the original Jurassic Park script, Maria Scotch Marmo actually had an entire section of the film dedicated to Ellie Sattler confronting Dr. Wu on defects in engines dinosaurs which would be revealed to be a problem with these growth hormones. You see, in the script, one of John Hammond's dinosaurs named Freda wasn't actually an adult. She was just a very big juvenile. Dr. Sattler figured this out after looking over x-rays where the animal's bones were clearly not fully formed. John Hammond explains this phenomenon through deadlines that Jurassic Park was expected to meet. None of these dinosaurs actually last, and there was a certain predictability for he and Dr. Wu to figure out when they'd all die. So in order to combat this, Wu engineered all of the dinosaurs to grow insanely fast in a short amount of time. Which seems to be relatively similar to what happened to the Spinosaurus that the miniature game is talking about after the events of Jurassic Park 3. With all of that stuff out of the way though, I want to make it abundantly clear to everyone that so far, this information is not 100% canon. And the reason it's not just yet is due to the fact that Universal Studios actually have to sign off on everything that the game does before it's finalized. So while they are currently working with the idea that this is how the Spinosaurus died, I wouldn't be surprised if it got changed eventually sometime down the road. Secondly, I don't honestly believe that there is a version of Jurassic World Dominion where the Spinosaurus doesn't show up in some capacity. We all know that it was originally intended to return in Fallen kingdom, and while that didn't happen, the dinosaur is recognizable and popular enough to warrant a further film appearance in some capacity come June 2022, especially since this new movie is being billed as the ultimate Jurassic sequel to all of the other stories. Still, I do think that it is possible that the information about the JP3 Spino getting killed this way could become concrete lore if a new Spinosaurus that looks identical to the one engine made from Jurassic Park 3 ends up appearing in later stories. I know there's some confusion about whether we had any information on this dinosaur dying before in the past, but in truth, and I've actually spoken with the people behind much of Jurassic World's viral marketing campaign about this. The Spinosaurus from JP3 is, as of right now, not killed off. But hey, that could of course change eventually in the future. So anyways guys, 
That is just some of the current information that the Jurassic World miniature game is putting out on the Spino. I'd love to know what all of you guys think about it. Personally, I'm actually a big fan of this series looking into some of the more ethical dilemmas that would come from cloning extinct animals. And I think that the cruelty of growth hormones and how they could affect these dinosaurs is fascinating stuff to talk about. That being said, I'm also very much so aware that a Spinosaurus of some sort will probably end up in Dominion or a later story at the very least. Now, whether or not it's the same animal that followed the Kirby's on Isla Sorna, I have no idea. It could be a brand new clone. So if this is how they're going to kill off the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, it could fit into all of the other lore. Anyways, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be on this entire subject, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.